Hi Church, I'm so excited to share today's devotion with you. It's found out of Psalm 119 verses 127 and 128. Therefore, I love your commands more than gold, more than fine gold. Therefore, I consider all your precepts right, and I hate every wrong path. So what the psalmist is saying here is that he has a deep affection, a love for God's instruction, a genuine love for God's word, the authority of his written word. He qualifies this love by saying God's word has more value than any earthly possession. We can search family high and low and we will find that there really is no comparison to what we find in God's commands. In verse 128, the writer says that he considers God's precepts, or you can say his guiding truth, he considers God's guiding truth to be right. He hates everything else that stands against or opposes that truth. So when we begin to fall in love with his scripture, with his commands, with his law, with his instruction, with the help of the Holy Spirit, we too can identify what isn't truth. And we too can shun anything that opposes or stands against God's truth. When we have fellowship with God through his word, we can see God's love in his instruction for you and I. His instruction keeps us safe, shows us purpose, teaches us how to love others. It's his precepts that direct us in the right way that we should go, keeping us from every wrong path and even points us to Jesus. It's his precepts that give us life. It's in the authority of his unchanging word that reminds us that his promises for us still stand. In his word, he puts us back on course when we tend to go off course. And his word is the light to our path in the darkest places. It is the solid foundation of God's word that steadies us when we're shaken. It's clear that the object of the writer's love are the commands of God. To love God, family, is to love his word. I pray that your affection for his word grows more and more every day as you find him in his word. I pray that you fall in love with God's commands afresh. Be blessed today.